For over 30 years in nearly 40 nations around the world, God has been using Dr. Andy Aldo mightily, according to John 14, 12, to raise many physically dead and dying people, heal the sick, operate many special miracles, as well as winning many sinners to Christ. As the author of the internationally best-selling series known as Raising the Dead, Dr. Odu has been honorably received by many world leaders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, log on to RaisingTheDead.org for additional details because Dr. Odu is coming to your area for a great meeting and you need to be there. So this is what we'll be developing today in our program and I will start with a word of prayer, powerful word of prayer and then we can delve into the reading of the scriptures. King of glory, we thank you. We give you praise, we give you glory for having loved humanity so much and particularly also having loved your church so much and also for having loved the nation of Israel so much that you want this gospel, this good news that Jesus saves that Jesus delivers, that Jesus sanctifies, that Jesus baptizes people with the Holy Ghost and power and fire, that Jesus Christ heals, that Jesus Christ does miracles, that Jesus Christ raises the dead, that Jesus Christ casts out devils today, that Jesus Christ has come to bless us. And so we thank you, Father. And I pray that those who are listening to this message today, their hearts will be ready to receive the engrafted word of truth. The word of freedom in Jesus name we pray amen and amen and amen now let's go quickly to the gospel of st. John chapter 15 and chapter 16 uh, uh, very interesting passages uh, that we will be reading together and then we will see throughout today we will visit some passages too from the Old Testament book of Genesis all the way to the book of Acts and all the other books of the Bible, of course, in between. Here, Jesus was once speaking in uh, John chapter 15, from verse 18, all the way to the end of that chapter 15, then the beginning part of chapter 16. He said, If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is you do not belong to the world but I have chosen you out of the world and that is what church means ecclesia Co chosen or called out of this world of sin the world the system that Satan has orchestrated when Adam and Eve sinned against God Satan became the God of this world or the God of this world system while Jehovah God is still the owner the proprietor he is the maker and the keeper of the entire world. So here, when we talk about the world belonging to God and the world be belonging to Satan, we are talking about simple things. I mean, just to say in a simple way, the creator and the manufacturer of the universe is Jehovah God himself. However, when he entrusted the world into the hand of Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve freely turned it loose and gave it to Satan, and Satan became the God of the system, the mindset that perverse and that goes against God's desire and that rebels against God's will and that is what that system is all about the satanic system okay here so Jesus was letting us know that we have been chosen out of this world that is why the world hates us that's why the world hates us you see if we want the world to love us then we better do the things of the world if you do what the world system offers you nobody will hate you but if you do what God wants us to do the world will hate you. Why? Because Satan will mobilize his agents, his children, to hate those who have come out of the world system, those who have come out of darkness into light. Satan will not like us. And this has to get into the hearts of the church very well. We've been trying to compromise too much, trying to please the world, trying to do it the God, I mean the world's way of doing things. And that brings judgment of God upon ourselves. You cannot love the world and love God at the same time. There's a dichotomy here, a separation. If you don't want to be persecuted by the world, then go and follow the devil's crowd. Keep sinning against God. And you'll be in trouble with God too. You see? So, here God has called us to be separate people. We're separated from this world system. 
We are part of another kingdom, another system. The system of God, the kingdom of God through His Son Jesus Christ. So Jesus kept on warning us about this sovereign the hatred that believers and churches will go through because we are not part of this world system. And He says the world hated Him and the world hated us too. So let's continue here. He said, remember the words I spoke to you. No servant is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, and you know exactly what he went through, all the way to the cross, all the way to the grave, the hatred that Satan used mankind, the nation of Israel, the religious leaders, you know, to come against Jesus, we saw it very clearly. Nothing is hidden. In the Bible, it's clearly shown to the whole world. And if you see people wearing the crucifix or the crosses on their chest or the lapel pins and all, you see a symbol of somebody hanging on that cross. I'm not saying that that was the only cross. No, there were many crosses. You know, they were, the Roman system used to, burn, I mean, execute people by crucifixion. But there's a distinguished man who hung on that cross, who was totally different. He wasn't a felon. He wasn't a criminal. He was the savior of mankind. And his crucifixion was totally unique. He never committed any sin, but he came to pay a ransom, a price, so that mankind can be redeemed from the grief and the tyranny of the devil. Amen. So let's continue here. He says, If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey your, your teaching also. They will treat you that way because of my name. Because of his name, they will persecute us because that name is like a magnet. The anointed one, the anointed savior, the anointed you know, master, he is the Messiah. The anointing is like magnet, it pulls attention and it draws those who love God to God and it draws those who hate God against those who hate God. So the name Jesus here is what really is really dis uh, making the devils nervous. And I remember this before we continue. A few years ago, uh, you, you know our brother here, uh, Franklin uh, Graham, the son of Dr. Billy Graham. Uh, as usual here in the United States, during inauguration, either of the president, new president, or the Congress, or the Supreme Court, sometimes they will, invert, they will invite a spiritual leader, or a church leader, or a ministry leader, or a Christian leader, to go there and pray. So his father, Dr. Billy Graham, has been invited for years i mean since he was a young person he used to be invited to the white house or to the congress uh, uh to to offer prayer uh during the new growth services so now that dr billy graham because of age uh his activities have been curtailed drastically of course uh when his son took off the helm of uh, the, uh, the billy graham evangelistic uh, ministry and also the good samaritan they invited his son uh, franklin to go there and he, during the inauguration and he went there uh, everybody watched it it was on television i think if you go to probably youtube you watch it too and franklin prayed a very powerful dynamic prayer there but what irritated some of our elected officials was that he forcefully ended up that prayer in the name of jesus he prayed i mean with the whole of his heart and culminated or ended up that prayer in the name of Jesus and after that event I think it was the last time they ever invited him <laughs> to go for any new growth service they didn't like it now this is sending message to the church in America right now if America is a Christian nation and invited a Christian preacher to go over there and pray and you don't want him to pray in the name of Jesus who in whose name do you want him to pray in the name of Satan in the name of Buddha in the name of Muhammad in the name of Shinto or Confucius or what? No. If it is a Christian nation, you have to pray in the name of the Christ or Christianity, isn't it? That was the last time they ever invited, you know, <laughs> a friendly Graham to go and inaugurate or pray any prayer. They didn't like it. So now, systematically now, in other communities, some of our government officials now don't want even any prayer in the name of Jesus anymore. They say we live in a secular society. You don't. We don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. We don't want to go against uh, other religious uh, uh, affiliations or religious uh, faiths, as they call it. So we don't want this Jesus name. Jesus name. We don't want it. Now it is not the people that don't want to hear the name Jesus. Satan is scared of that name. He can't stand that name. And if you have the name of Jesus upon you, the Bible says you should flee from iniquity. 
If you have the name of the Christ over you, it makes the devil to hate you. Satan hates me. I, I know it. And I hate the devil too. I hate him. So he and I, we're not in good terms at all. We're no friends. He knows it and I know it too. That is why God is using me to tear down his kingdom like crazy. So you too as a believer, when you make up your mind, you are going to allow the power of that name to work and function in your life. You're going to be a terror to the devil. And Satan will not like you. He will hate you in your job. He will hate you within your family. He will hate you in your neighborhood. He will hate you in your city. hate you in your nation. Why? Because they hated Jesus. They will hate you too. Oh, hallelujah. Where God is, there are evidential miracles. And miracles are God's signatures to validate His messages and messengers. In Dr. Aldi's very powerful book entitled Miracles Are God's Scientists, you'll read all about some of the mind-shattering miracles that the Lord has been doing through His international ministry. As many dead people are raised up, the blind see, demons cast out, the lame walk, the deaf and dumb both hear and speak, nations are shaken up, natural elements are reversed, and multitudes of sinners are saved, etc. To order your copy of Miracles Are God's Scientists, visit MyMiracleTV.org or call 1-229-638-1065.